Okay, so I've cleaned up the mating surfaces of the engine crane case here, and I've removed uh, the gasket material. I've also removed the the gaskets for the cooling channels. And really, the next main step here that I'm getting at is that we're going to drop in the bearing carrier assembly, and it will drop down into the engine crank case from the top, and it'll rest on these internally machine surfaces that you can see here. There's also some guide uh, pins. You can see one of them right here and there's another one right here. When the two crankcase halves go together there's also uh, a couple of guide dowels in the front and in the back. This is the bearing carrier assembly right here and uh, it's already been rebuilt so I've already installed all new bearings, new timing chains, guide rails, etc. And right now it's it's actually upside down. And it's this surface here that gets lowered down into the crankcase half first. And you can see I've actually marked it here one, two, and three. And I don't have any of the connecting rods installed for these particular pistons. Uh, on this side. So essentially these surfaces here are exactly what gets lowered down into the engine and will rest on these uh, surfaces here and we'll bolt it all up. Uh, so just a quick overview, here's the front of the crankshaft right here. There's two halves of this bearing carrier assembly. Essentially this um, intermediate shaft uh, there's an oil baffle here that you can see this comes off. There are some bolts that bolt each half of the carrier uh, together. And we can flip this around. So here's the, uh, the rear of the crankshaft. This is actually where the flywheel would bolt. And the rear main seal essentially goes around here and uh, this is where the rear of the crankshaft comes through, the crankcase. And also, you can see that I've installed three of the connecting rods already for cylinders four, five, and six. So these will be um, pointing upward once the bearing carrier is lowered into the crankcase half. Okay, so what I've done now is I've flipped the bearing carrier assembly over on its side in the correct installation position such that cylinders 1, 2, and 3 are now facing downward and 4, 5, and 6 are facing upward. And I also have a, a cable assembly attached to this to lift it. The bearing carrier assembly is actually pretty heavy. It's certainly something you don't want to lift by hand and you certainly don't want to risk damaging the aluminum crankcase staff as it is pretty soft metal and even a slight little gouge in one of the ceiling surfaces could render this crankcase an instant piece of garbage so we have to be very careful here so we're gonna raise this up and we're going to lower it then into the crankcase
So, I'm going to remove the, uh, the lifting assembly and we'll be installing the pistons next. <laughs> 